where have roads been laid and uh, how many kilometers and how long have they lasted? The plastic tar road is nothing but the stone is laminated with shredded plastic. The plastic is nothing but the waste plastic. And over that bitumen is coated. You can see the coated uh, bitumen plastic material with a shiny characteristic. And this will be used for road laying. The road is definitely performs very well. Now, about the history of the plastic tar road. The first road was laid in 2002 in Koyalpati and then subsequently in Chennai and the road laid in Chennai in 2002 still performs very well to now we are in 2016 it is performing very well. From that day onwards many roads have been laid at various parts of India in Kerala, in Karnataka, in Prabhavati state of uh, uh, Bombay and we have uh, laid roads in uh, uh, Madhya, Madhya, Madhya Pradesh, Hima, Himachala Pradesh and so on. Many places going on and the performance wise the roads are definitely doing very well. That is the report which you can see in the and Jamshedpur, the, most of the roads in Jamshedpur are made converted in plastic road. All these details available in it also you can see. And uh, presently the government aspect, National Rural Road Development has already implemented this technique in various places of India and nearly 10 to 15 percent of rural roads are being laid by, by this technique. This technique is called dry process. It is being done and uh, every year minimum of 5000 kilometers they have planned to lay and it is going on by the national rural road. The other side is uh, uh, I, um, uh, highways. Highways, the IRS has already coded our process in 2013. IRC coding is available and therefore number 98 of 2013. Uh, it is a number, it is the code number is 98 of 3000, 2013. It is available, you can, uh, anybody can refer that. And uh, subsequently gazette notification has come and very recently this technology has been appreciated by our Prime Minister and uh, he gave a award for this also, the best technology available in India and they get the award of Tekan. At during time he, he uh, accepted the quality of the road and said he is going to implement the road technology, road technology everywhere. As per his uh, uh, word, he has released a government notification in the month of November uh, uh, 9, 2015. Uh, government notice has come here for the plastic, only plastic the road will be laid wherever the population exceeds more than 5 lakhs. In the meantime, many states of their own, they can, Tamil Nadu has already laid more than 2,000, 20,000 kilometers, rural roads have been laid. Like that, everywhere in Madhya Pradesh, they are also doing that. And periodically, they come and have a training under us, and they take the technology and it's being laid. Himachal. We have done, in fact, Meghalaya, we have laid at low temperature, we have gone, and we have laid the road in Meghalaya also. And of course, the technology we modify as per the condition to suit the condition. But the roads as it is at all, whether it's a low temperature or high temperature, wherever the technology has been implemented and the roads are performing very well. And what do you mean very well means that there is no maintenance expenditure. The, with respect to road cost, it is much less because for one kilometer road, we, wherever we live, one kilometer normally, in Semitans road, we, we require 10 tons of bitumen. What we use now here is only 9 tons of bitumen and 1 ton of plastic. That means 1 ton of bitumen is saved. That means cost wise 50,000 rupees is saved. The plastic cost 1 ton is only uh, 5 to 10,000 rupees. But more than the cost we are able to use 1 ton of plastic in 1 kilometer. What do you mean by 1 ton? It is nothing less than 10 lakhs carry back. So large amount of coil plastic can be effectively used in road laying and the roads are performing very well. If all the roads in India are laid, India has got 40 lakhs kilometers of road, all the roads are laid, converted into plastic road, we don't have enough plastic in India, we have to import waste plastic. So that is the current situation and uh, the plastic road uh, technology has been accepted by the government, notification has come and, uh, very, uh, and very recently the uh, Ministry of Drainage, uh, Water and Drainage System 
as released a notification and putting this technology as the first category and this is going to be uh, um, uh, the circular is going to be uh, given to all states to implement technology throughout India. So, the process is going on very well and it is up to us to utilize it in different uh, ways. Can you tell us about uh, using plastic for pothole repair? Uh, normally, plastic tar road, they don't uh, give plastic uh, potholes because the pothole format is mainly because if you don't use plastic uh, as a binder. The old roads may develop uh, potholes. For that, we can again, filling of the potholes, we can use this technology. What we do here is, normally how they do is, they take the stone without heating normally, Vitamin alone is heated to 1 cent degree, they mix these two and then fill the pothole. Whereas, what I suggest now here is, the same technology can be used provided to the hot vitamin before mixing with the stone. You can add 3 to 5 percent of the quantity of vitamin, thermocool, shredded thermocool. And thermocool can be added to vitamin, hot vitamin and stirred it can mix very well. That polymer modified, that is, uh, poly, uh, polystyrene modified vitamin can be now mixed with the uh, stone and that mixture can be added and filled on the pothole and rolled. Definitely this will come much longer period than the conventional method and easy method of filling the pothole also effective and they stand very well. 